All right, guys. Um, got my new uh, seals. This one is from a company called Metro. Don't really like them that much because the originals have this little plastic insert. I already ripped it out of the rubber to show you. Okay. See this little plastic insert, and that's what you bolt the two bolts to. One there and one there. Well, from Metro, which they sell this on eBay and other websites, it's just rubber with nothing inside it, no reinforcement. So what happens all the time is you put your screws in and then this just ends up ripping from the screw. And yeah, it doesn't really hold the screws in too well. So what you gotta do on this style is put a bunch of weather uh, strip adhesive up in here to keep it glued in when you install it so it doesn't move around on you. But other than that, they're okay. They're, they're all right. Kind of a little bit softer than the OEMs a little bit tougher stuff like you can't rip these out of the OEMs they're they're in there solid because um, this piece here is like really hard right here and on these ones these literally just fall out like I'm missing a few of them so I took them from the old old ones the little tabs because this they fall out and they rip so easy and I'm talking about right here these rip real easy I mean real easy like it's just really flimsy it's it's just all weather strip it's all the same stuff all the way around doesn't seem like it has any thicker part in the middle and the OEM one does so it's kind of a bummer the OEM ones are really solid in the middle but you know this is 22 decades old three decades old I don't know it's pretty old so can't really use them you can but it's just they're too old so Gonna install these Metro ones, that's what I got, and they're brand new, so I'll just use them. Alright guys, so I got some new uh, seals here, a little seal here for, the, for this piece. And I got some new plastics, because the ones that I got with this when I got the car were cracked. These were like 60 bucks a piece, I believe I paid. Comes with a little plastic inside. And, uh, yeah, what else did I get? This little plastic trim here, right here. This thing was, I think I paid $150 for this little piece. So a little plastic ABS trim is, is quite expensive as well. I think it was 150 bucks. So yeah, these convertibles can start costing you money too. Cause these crack over time, the heat from the sun, it cracks them. Uh, the side ones were still good, but yeah, these ones need to be replaced and this piece and um, yeah, what else did I do? I happened to get a good console. Found a good console for this. And uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking this weather stripping off because these things are really old. And I'm going to be installing that right now. Alright, just a little tip for anybody that's making a kit convertible. Um, well, at least for 91 uh, or probably 90 and up uh, convertibles from Firebird Pontiac. Um, you can't put the little little ground effect piece here because as you can see there's a plate here and they put a plate here they welded it in place because that's for the seatbelt uh, it no longer the seatbelt doesn't go from the top it's down here so I mean you can use the original one Eric's uh, ground effects but you have to you can, you just have to cut off the bolt part because the bolt won't be, won't be able to go through there. Um, I could kind of get in there, but not really without opening this up. So I just left it alone. What I'll do on mine is I'll just cut the bolt off. And I'll install the original ones. You can use fiberglass ones too, but I'll use the original ones. And I'll just, um, on their air extractor, this thing here. I'll just cut this bolt off. And then I'll put some uh, probably 3M adhesive going across here. You know right here and right here and then I'll bolt it at the bottom and bolt it on the sides that should be good enough all right just put the top back up to adjust the windows I want to show you guys I, I'm sure there's somebody out there that had problems with uh, the doors not fitting right and the windows not fitting right so I'm gonna show you how to fix your windows to get it to fit perfect um, see when I close this now you see when I get real close it starts to snag there a little bit well it's real close 
fits good. Okay. Um, for adjustments, okay. I'm going to show you real quick. Okay, so if your window is hitting here before the door actually shuts, then you have it too far pushed in. And if it's got a huge gap here like this, when you close it, that means it's the window's pushed out too much. And a lot, I'm sure a lot of you guys have uh, leaking uh, seals here, where, or not seals, but leaking, leaking windows is what I mean. <laughs> well, you'd be driving in the rain and it just, the water goes running through the window because there's a gap. Well, what you want to do is, uh, okay, uh, if the window is too far over this way, uh, you can adjust it this way too. And that's what you're going to unbolt this two bolt, bolts here. And that will adjust the left and right of this window, left and right. Okay. And if you want to adjust the, the window going this way in or out, right in here. There's a bolt right here, and there's a bolt right here, and you reach it with a 10 millimeter right up under here, and you loosen them right up under there, okay? There's two of them. Loosen those up, and this bracket will go in and out, okay? And that's what's going to fix your, your window, because um, for a long time, this I couldn't get it, couldn't get these things to fit right, and, and that's, that's the adjustment I was missing to, to adjust. Because it's kind of stuck under there, and then if you want to adjust your stops, if your if your window's going too high, it's this bolt here. That's the stop bolt, and these two here are the stop bolt for the front. Because sometimes they go up and uh, they go too far, and when you close the door, it's you know it catches the top. So sometimes you need to lower it. Sometimes you need to higher it. Um, so yeah, so now perfect. And uh, I've had problems with this since I got the car, and the reason for that is because the guy I bought it off um, took doors off another car, and he never adjusted it right. So, well, that's how you adjust the doors, guys. Not too hard, but you just got to know what to do. I already did this one as well. You can see, <clears throat> I actually took this part off of the um, of the top because I thought it was hitting here and I was thinking oh maybe the top is too tight or something had nothing to do with the top the vinyl top was fine so I, I went and took the glue off thinking it was that yeah it was just adjustment adjustment in there was what was screwed up so now now it's fine okay and there's no there's no weather seal on this yet door seal because I had to fix that before I put the seals on uh, to get up in here all right so back to putting on the uh, seals <laughs> sometimes you got to do things in order but that's it for now I'm gonna go and put these uh, new uh, Metro seals on now and I'm gonna have to use some uh, black weather strip adhesive this stuff here because I know if I don't it's not gonna stick on these little flappy ends. All right, so last night I stayed up to about five in the morning. I was putting on some body moldings on this side of the door. You can see it there. And I had this fender. I put the mounts down at the bottom. I don't know where I did with the screws, so I gotta hunt those down today, because I don't remember where I put them. I can't put the door panels in because I don't have the mirrors painted, so I gotta paint the mirrors today. And then uh, I'll be able to put the mirrors in and then the door panels. I got this uh, strip here installed on both sides, those are fairly new. Got the, the lights in in the back. Um, I gotta redo this thing, re glue this, but it's fitting pretty good. And I gotta put the body molding on this side next. I kind of like it without it, but in the show it had it, so I'm just adding it. And uh, yeah, everything's looking good. Today I'm just going to pull this car. I'm going to mount this fender and then pull out the car.